The first one I want to bring up is Chuck Missler. This guy is one of the big liars to ever stand behind a pulpit. Wicked. Say, well, I like him. I used to listen. I don't care if you like the him or not. The most damnable liars that I've ever seen. You can click on one of his sermons in minutes, and multiple times in that little 10 minute piece, he'll tell you, oh, well, that's not. Oh, that's not really what. If Hebrew, you go back it's to this. If you go back to the Hebrew, it says this. If you go back to the Hebrew, it's actually this. If you go back every literally two minutes, he's telling you the Hebrew says this. The Hebrew says this. The Hebrew, and telling you something totally different than what the Bible says. Let me give you an example. You fa go fact check it. But here's here's how he knows you're not going to. Because if you look at a Hebrew Bible, Hebrew, it looks like a bunch of chicken scratch. <laughs> if you look at a Greek Bible, it's all Greek to you. And you don't know what it means. So he doesn't think that you're going to go learn a foreign language him. and then learning a foreign language just to fact check him. You're like, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay. So he's just banking on the fact that people can't fact check him because they don't know the language. Okay. But it, it doesn't take a genius, folks. Let me give you an example. Chuck Missler is teaching through Genesis and he says, you know, in Genesis 4, when it says, then began men all upon the name of the Lord, what the Hebrew actually means here is, then began people, man to it doesn't say man began to call upon the name of the Lord. It says man now, began. Stop and think about this. There are like 500 literally translations of the Bible into English. Literally. Probably a thousand. But there are for sure 500. Okay. Every single one of them says call upon the name of the Lord there. So you don't have to tell be, yourself. Okay, every Bible on the planet in every language that's ever been published and the kind says, then began men to call Lord, upon the name of the Lord. Chuck Missler is telling me men began to curse the Lord. I wonder who I should believe. <laughs> now look, I believe that the, the King Bible James is a perfect word of God. I'm going to trust the King James Bible's translation. Someone didn't trust the King James. Okay, look at every other Bible. That, None of this liar is saying stuff like that literally like every two minutes. You know, oh, well, when the Bible says in the beginning God, God and the earth and the earth was without form of void, it, what it really says is, but the earth was without form of void. But the earth was without. Folks, it's a lie. Every verse, Genesis Practic 1, starts with the same word. Look at Genesis 1, you'll see that virtually every verse, word, and, 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 guess what? It's all. But he's like, well, in verse 2, it's actually in the Hebrew, it's but. It's the same word, folks. So is it supposed to say but, 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 but? Read it that way. Read Genesis 1, substituting all the ands for buts. In the beginning, God created the heaven but the earth. But the earth was without form. But darkness was upon the face of the deep. But the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. But God said, let there be light. But there was light. But God saw the light that it was good. But God divided the light from the darkness. But God called the darkness. He called night. Morning, we're the first day. <laughs> you believe that? Everybody believe that? But that's the kind of junk that this guy is teaching every few minutes. We're just eating it up. Just, oh, this is such deep Bible teaching. Oh, man, I oh, never had all oh, the Nephilim and the giants and the, and the angelic beings coming down and, be and creating this great right. natural beings. And all, yeah. <laughs> Folks, Look. sir, needs to go in the trash. Amen. Okay? It's garbage. The Bible says you add to his word, he'll add unto you all the plagues in this book. And if you take the away to the book of this prophecy, he'll take away your part out of the book of life and from the holy from city. The that in this book. I just think you're being too hard on Chuck Missler. Well, did I send him to hell? Did I damn him eternally? Did I plague him with every plague of the book of Revelation? Did I remove his part out of the book of life? Did I remove his part out of the hey, holy? Did I damn him eternally? Well, then I must not have been too hard on him because that's what God said. Person who tampers with his word. Yeah. If you're going to get up and say, oh, the Bible doesn't really say this. It actually says this. This is what it actually says. <laughs> Yea, hath God said? Right. Chuck miss. <laughs> The serpent is what he is. Now, look, that's an extreme example of a guy who's just way off the deep. Lying, 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 lying. You and look it up in the Hebrew, he lied about it. Look it up in the Greek, he lied about it. But he's banking on the fact that nobody's going to check it, and most people can't check it. That's why going back to the Greek and going back to the Hebrew in sermons is a bad practice. Because nobody can fact check you. They don't know the language. That's why we need to speak English from the pulpit. Amen? Amen. Preach in English.